What is going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at some more Java. So last time we left on uh, we left off on variable types. So today we're going to be doing doing math. Yeah. All right. So you can use common math operators to perform calculations. For example, int x equals 6, int y equals 3. Then you can add the x and the y and get some, some uh, the sum, which would be 9 in this case. This will output the sum of two variables. The result can be assigned to another variable like this. So then you can also um, make a variable that adds it so yeah so what is the output of this code so so int a equals 3 and b equals 2 okay so a is 3 b is 2 and then z is going to be a plus b which is 5 so z is 5 okay so now we print out z plus a so z is 5 and then going back a is 3 so that would print out it it's perfect. All right. Similarly, you can use minus for subtraction. So it's it's just the regulars. Um, the star operator multiplies two values. Let's use it to find out how much it is twenty percent of the given value. So if we run this, so 0 0.2 and then so 20% of 1200 is going to be 2040. All right. Next, fill in the blanks to calculate and I'll put the height of a nine story building. Each floor has three meters, uh, has a height of three meters. Okay. So we're going to, so nine story building, each floor has a height of three meters. So we're going to multiply. So remember, do not use the X, the time symbol, use the star symbol, okay? And then system.out.println, and then we will print out the total. Boom. Okay. The slash operator divides one value by another. So basically division. <clears throat> the following pro program calculates how many products with the given price you can buy with the given amount. So the amount divided by the price and then you get the result. Okay. In the example above, the result of the division equation will be a whole number as int is used as the d data type okay yep what is the result of the following code so we have 15 and x is 15 y is 4 so x divided by y now so i wanna basically go a little forward and say this would not print out um three point something okay this would print out just three. Now the reason for that is the decimal part gets dropped because you can see the result is an integer, meaning you'll get an integer, right? So it's only three. Okay. <clears throat> you can use double to get the result of a of the division with a decimal point, right? The result of dividing two doubles is a double. Surprise. All right. Modulo. Okay. Pay attention to this one. This one is one of the most important ones, um, which you may have not heard of before. Um, this is also one of the ones that gets messed up a lot because people don't know what it means, like what the symbol means. So the module or the percent or remainder, 
math operation returns the remainder of a division okay for example let's use to let's use it to find how many of the given numbers will be left over if we place them in boxes of five so if we have 23 items and we want to divide those among five boxes okay how many do you think we'll have left okay how many do you think we'll have left that's the remainder so three since five can only go into 20 uh, evenly four times right so yeah and then it's three left over so it just returns three if this was 24 then you would get back four right and then if this was 25 you'd get back zero because everything divided evenly so that's what it is what value is stored in the result variable um let's see okay so eight and then three right so remember eight so how many times can three go into eight two right okay what you have left over so we get six and then we have a left over two obviously all right java allows to add to add together strings using the plus operator the result is the combination of the strings for example let's combine the first and last names to resolve the full name of a person okay so first and last name james smith this will return james smith now make sure to put the space here and oh my bad i'm gonna make sure to put the space here and you'll get james smith correctly all right yep note that the result will combine the given strings with our given we can add a space in between okay cool the process of adding strings together is called concatenation you can also concatenate strings with other types such as integers or double and doubles which of the following statements concatenates the strings a and b so concatenates just remember you're adding two strings and that is it so the lesson takeaways for today are going to be math is fun okay so here's the takeaways you can use basic math operators to perform calculations with values and variables plus is addition minus is subtraction the slash symbol is division um, the percent sign finds the remainder of a division you can add strings using the plus operator in a process called concatenation all right so here's a quick reminder to please like subscribe and comment on uh, the video and we're gonna move on to the chess tournament scores okay. if you're making a program for a chess tournament that needs to calculate the points earned by a player a win is worth one point while a tie is worth 0 .5, 0 0.5 points the given program declares two variables wins and ties with the corresponding values create a program to calculate and I'll put the points earned by the player. <clears throat> okay. So, let's see. Multiply the tag. Oh, so we, okay, where we are. Okay, I think we're returning the points. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. Okay, give me a hint. To calculate, you need to assign a value to the variable points based on the number of wins. Think about how you can. Oh, so it wants the total. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so, if 
for this. Let's what the heck? Okay, <clears throat> and total equals so fifty four, and then we'll add. 31 and we'll add 31 times 0 0.5 and let's see so system dot out dot print line then we'll just print out the total okay um, code is not running assigning oh yeah okay, okay okay so we need to assign a double because of the fact the total is going to be a double i completely forgot about that but let's go we did crack it um all right you're packaging eggs in a basket, in baskets, each holding eight eggs. All packaged baskets need to be full. Fill in the blanks to create a program that calculates how many of the given eggs will be left over. Okay. <clears throat> so right here we have eggs, modules, and print out the result. Boom. Our lesson is completed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.